So OpenAI is on the verge of releasing its latest model, codenamed Strawberry. And it looks like it's coming sooner than we thought, within the next two weeks. In this video, we'll break down what makes Strawberry unique, including its new approach to reasoning and how it differs from previous models. We'll cover its technical specs, how it integrates with ChatGPT, and potential pricing changes. Plus, we'll explore the challenges Strawberry might face and its intriguing backstory, including its connection to artificial general intelligence and the STAR method. We'll also talk about the latest rumors and speculations about its future features and applications. So stick around to get the full scoop on OpenAI's exciting new AI model. To kick things off, let's unpack what Strawberry is all about. It's OpenAI's newest AI model, and it's designed to bring a new level of reasoning and problem solving to the table. Originally slated for a fall release, this model is now set to launch ahead of schedule, and the tech community is buzzing with anticipation. Unlike its predecessors, Strawberry is not just about generating answers quickly. It's built to focus heavily on reasoning and analytical thinking. While previous models like GPT-4 and GPT-4.0 are known for their rapid responses, Strawberry takes a more deliberate approach. It's designed to spend between 10 and 20 seconds processing a question before delivering a response. This might sound slow, but the idea is that this extra time allows for more accurate and thoughtful answers, especially for complex problems. But why would an AI model purposely take longer to respond? The reason is pretty intriguing. By taking its time, Strawberry aims to reduce the chance of errors and improve the quality of its responses. For tasks that involve multi-step reasoning, like solving intricate math problems, generating detailed business plans, or even programming, this approach could significantly enhance performance. Now, the model is set to be integrated into OpenAI's ChatGPT platform, but will function as a standalone option within it. This means that users will have the ability to select Strawberry from a list of models in the ChatGPT interface. Although the exact details on how users will access Strawberry haven't been confirmed yet, it's expected that users will choose it based on their specific needs. Regarding pricing, Strawberry is rumored to have a unique structure compared to existing GPT models. Instead of being available for free or through a subscription model, it might introduce a pricing tier that limits the number of messages users can send per hour. There's speculation that there could also be a premium option for those who want faster responses or additional features. Existing ChatGPT subscribers are likely to get early access before it becomes available to free users. Despite its advanced features, Strawberry is not without its limitations. For starters, it will only handle text-based queries at launch. This is a step back from GPT-4.0, which has multimodal capabilities and can process both text and images. Some early testers have reported that Strawberry's slower response time for simpler queries might not always justify the wait. Additionally, while Strawberry is designed to remember past conversations for more personalized interactions, it has struggled with consistency in this regard. One of the significant challenges this model faces is balancing its reasoning capabilities with user experience. The extended processing time, while beneficial for complex queries, may lead to frustrations for users accustomed to quicker responses. Moreover, the model's performance in maintaining context over longer conversations is still under evaluation, which could affect its overall utility in practical applications. Now, before Strawberry was officially named, it was known as Q or QSTAR. The development of this model was surrounded by some dramatic events at OpenAI. Just before OpenAI CEO Sam Altman was briefly ousted last year, Q was a major point of contention. Certain researchers within OpenAI were concerned that Q represented a significant leap towards creating artificial general intelligence. They feared that the rapid development of such advanced models could lead to unforeseen risks and challenges. AGI, or artificial general intelligence, refers to an AI that can understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks, much like a human. The concept of AGI raises both excitement and concern because while it promises tremendous advancements, it also comes with potential risks. There's speculation that AGI could evolve in unpredictable ways, potentially leading to scenarios reminiscent of science fiction like Skynet from the Terminator movies. The fear is that if AGI systems become too advanced too quickly, they could result in unintended consequences. Now, one of the key features of Strawberry is its use of what's known as System 2 thinking. This concept, introduced by psychologist Daniel Kahneman in his book Thinking Fast and Slow, describes a slow, deliberate mode of thinking. 
It contrasts with system one thinking, which is fast, intuitive, and often emotional. Strawberry's approach to processing information aligns with system two, aiming for thorough analysis and reasoning before providing a response. This method is intended to enhance accuracy and reduce errors, particularly in tasks that require a deeper level of thought. Okay, now there's a notable connection between Strawberry and a concept known as STAR or self-taught reasoner. STAR is a method designed to improve the reasoning abilities of AI models through a process of iterative learning and self-improvement. The core idea behind STAR is to use a small set of examples that demonstrate step-by-step -step reasoning and then apply this knowledge to a larger data set. Here's how STAR works. It starts by using a small set of examples that clearly demonstrate step-by-step -step reasoning. The model then applies this foundational knowledge to a much larger data set. This process begins with generating rationales for a broader range of questions. Next, these rationales are carefully filtered to ensure accuracy, keeping only those that lead to correct answers. The model is then fine-tuned based on these refined rationales, enhancing its ability to produce accurate responses. This iterative process repeats, allowing the AI to learn from its own reasoning and progressively improve over time. There's also an optional step called rationalization, where if the model answers a question incorrectly, it's given hints and asked to generate a correct rationale. This helps it learn from its mistakes and refine its reasoning even further. The way STAR enhances reasoning through this self-learning approach might be playing a significant role in the development of Strawberry. It's likely helping Strawberry achieve its advanced reasoning capabilities, making it a more powerful and effective AI model. Now, as with any major tech release, there are plenty of rumors and speculations swirling around Strawberry. Some industry insiders are suggesting that Strawberry's advanced reasoning capabilities might be just the beginning. There are whispers about potential features and updates that could come post-launch. For example, some believe that future iterations of Strawberry might include multimodal capabilities, allowing it to process not just text, but also images, audio, and possibly even video. There's also speculation about the potential integration of Strawberry with other AI models. Some sources hint that OpenAI might be working on combining Strawberry with other projects like Orion to create even more powerful and versatile AI systems. Orion, which has been in development alongside Strawberry, is rumored to be a next-generation language model with synthetic data derived from Strawberry's capabilities. Okay, now training a model like Strawberry involves significant investment. For context, training GPT-4 reportedly cost over $100 million. As AI models become more advanced and complex, the costs associated with their development are skyrocketing. Some estimates suggest that future models could cost hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars to train. This raises important questions about the sustainability and return on investment for AI companies. As the industry moves forward, there will be increasing pressure to demonstrate the practical value and impact of these high-cost models. OpenAI, in particular, will need to balance the investment in cutting-edge technology with tangible benefits for users and businesses. Strawberry is clearly a big step forward in the quest for smarter and more advanced AI systems. Whether it will live up to the hype remains to be seen, but it's clear that OpenAI is aiming high with this. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos on the latest in tech and AI. We've got more exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned and keep exploring the wonders of AI with us.